I had a bang, but I think my bang from yesterday is honestly still vibing through my system because I'm hype today. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another ex-boyfriend high school story time type video. I really want to get back on these and start posting them. Probably going to do them like once a month or every two weeks or something like that because I have a lot and they're really fun and you guys seem to really enjoy them. Today's video is about a boy who almost cheated on me, broke my heart, definitely a learning relationship. But before we get started, we have a sponsor. You guys are always asking what mascara I use and all that kind of stuff because my eyelashes are kind of always popping off, not gonna lie. And I use this mascara from Pretty Vulgar. If you guys are interested, there's going to be a link in the description. But genuinely, like, I wouldn't be promoting this if I didn't actually like it. I have it on right now. I love this mascara so much. It feels super light. It doesn't clump. It literally puts on perfect the exact way I like it. There's also a 20% off code. So if you guys want to use my link and use the code, you can get 20% off. It'll be in the description. Anyway. <sighs> okay. I have a few disclaimers before we start this video. One, a lot of you guys have been watching for a very long time and it's very easy for you to pinpoint what boy I'm talking about in these videos. So I would really appreciate it if we didn't talk about it in the comments or as long as like we don't involve that person. I don't want, their they didn't sign up to be talked about on YouTube or anything like that. So their life is private, I respect them, and honestly, I don't have any beef with any of my ex-boyfriends or anyone from high school, so let's just leave people out of it. This is just fun, story time, so we can all laugh and like get the real tea on what happened without exposing people's personal lives. So let's just keep it pretty personal between us. Let's keep it in this family of siblings, and that's all that needs to be said. Um, I guess my second disclaimer, I was just gonna say that I totally respect this person, I don't have any beef with them anymore, honestly they're probably like a nice guy at this point, I don't know, I haven't talked to them in a very long time, but there's no reason to hate on them, and let's just go ahead and get started. So first we have to give this boy a name, you know, I'm gonna go with the name Parker, kinda like that name, let's go with it. So me and Parker, what a good time, I mean it was good when we were together, it was great. This was a long time ago, I was actually just starting to kind of blow up on YouTube, I was still daily vlogging, lots of good times, I think I was 15, actually I know for a fact I'm, I was 15 because I couldn't date until I was 16. I met this guy and I've known him since like middle school and I never really talked to him other than a couple times but I literally remember in middle school thinking he was really cute and stuff. If you've learned from my videos, I'm very boy crazy and a lot of people are probably confused because I'm like, oh I like this guy since middle school and I really liked this guy and I was obsessed with this guy but also I dated like five of these guys. High school was just a fun time for me. It was just my chance to be boy crazy. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's a good time to date around, see what you like in boys. Um, you know, learn from experience, get your heart broken a few times because we love that. So people are confused because I always talk about how I was in love with Dallin my whole life. I was, but I couldn't waste all my time on him, okay? I had to fulfill my boy obsessions somehow. This boy, I re-met him my sophomore year of high school. I think I met him at like a football game or something. I don't really know how we started talking. I just remember I I got a snapchat we started hanging and then i think we like went to a football game me and my friends went to a football game met at his house before and then went with him and stood in his student section we hung out after it was a good time we were being flirty everything was just kind of working out i decided to invite him to be in some of my videos because i just started doing this thing where every wednesday i did like a challenge or just something fun like a tag with all my friends so we did this video and it kind of like got popular, a lot of you guys really liked it, there were a lot of jokes, lots of inside jokes, so everyone loved him, and I liked him, so we started talking. Honestly, we hung out a lot, like we were texting, snapchatting all the time, this was probably the first guy that I really started to genuinely like while I was talking to him. I really wanted to date him, like I saw a lot of potential, he was such a gentleman, he was always so chivalrous, like opening doors and all that good stuff, like everything that a gentleman should do. He was super nice to my family, very polite, respectful, and I'm pretty sure this was the first guy I ever invited to come to my family dinners on Sunday, which was like a really big deal because 
there's like 30 people that come to these dinners and it's like, hey, if I bring you, I really like you. Everyone loved him. Like everyone loved us together. Everyone on YouTube loved us, everything. This was like my first relationship I really put out on the internet for people to see and I really let them into my personal life with this one. You know, I like being I like being vulnerable with you guys. I like sharing my life with you guys. So we had been talking for I'd say about a month. It didn't really have much time to hang out alone, but it never bothered me because he would always come over and we would just hang out in my living room or we'd even hang out alone just like downstairs or we'd hang out with my family and we always were doing super fun stuff because it was like a good time of the year to be doing lots of fun stuff. Me and his friends were friends and he was friends with my friends so we would always hang out, just go out and do fun stuff. Whatever the case was, we were never like alone a lot but we definitely got to know each other enough. We texted, called, all that good stuff. I'm pretty sure this is the first guy I had dated. We never officially dated, but I'm just gonna say it because we basically dated. But this was the first guy I dated that we really like called instead of texting sometimes, and that was like really different for me, and I really liked it. Basically, he was hitting all the points of like a boy that I wanted, like gentleman, loves my family, super nice, my family loves him, all the things. It was great. Then things started to change. I remember this one time he threw this party, and I had never been to like an actual high school party before where there was like alcohol, drugs, all that kind of bad stuff that I should avoid and he invited me over and I didn't think he threw parties like that. I mean, I, literally his parents were home, they were upstairs, so I was like, oh, like duh, like there's not going to be anything bad. Me and my friend went and well, come to find out it was definitely a party like that and I didn't know what to do but I didn't want to call my parents because I wanted them to like him and I really liked him so I decided like, okay, like it's fine, just like chilling by myself that whole party like pretty uncomfortable and then he would like come get me and be like hey we should like go into this room alone or we should like go do this alone like let's get alone and let's be alone everything was about being alone with him and I was like oh okay I mean I don't know just like stuff like that happened all the time but I was like I was just so innocent at the time that I was like oblivious to what was happening. Anyway, everything was fine. Got home from the party safe, made it home to curfew, didn't ever tell anyone because I just like felt super awkward about it and yeah, never like expressed that it bothered me to him or anything like that. There was my first high school party, which we can do a whole story time on that some other time. So then uh, time went on and we were getting like super close. He was coming with my family pretty much everywhere because this time of year was very family oriented. So he was always with us. So he gets his license, right? And you think once he gets his license, we would start hanging out a lot more. He was 16, I was 15. And the day he got his license, we went out and drove around and my dad was kind of mad because he didn't want us to be alone together, but we were just driving around doing like cute couple stuff. I think we got like Sonic or something. Nothing like was a red flag to me. It was all good times. And then we kind of stopped hanging out all the time. It was like as soon as he got his license, we started hanging out less than when he had his license. And my parents were like always down to drive me to his house and it seemed like his parents were always down to drive him to mine. But as soon as he got his license, it was like not a thing to hang out anymore. I don't really know why. But then I think it was like two weeks after that or something, he texted me and was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I almost cheated on you. And I was like so oblivious at the time that I didn't even think twice but to forgive him. Like first thought in my head was like, okay, you made a mistake, like who cares, whatever. Like you don't just cheat. I don't know where my mind was. I was 15, this was my first like boyfriend. I didn't know what was happening. I had never like felt like that before. And I wasn't even like mad or sad because he didn't cheat on me, but he like I thought it was okay because he was being honest and truthful saying, hey, like I almost cheated on you, I'm so sorry. But like, how do you almost cheat on someone, first of all? And then how do you like, I just don't understand what I was thinking, how I thought it was okay. Not only did he almost cheat on me once, he almost cheated on me twice in the same day. But basically, the way he explained it to me, he invited this girl over and he was gonna have her come over alone so that they could probably do various activities that I didn't want to do with him and that was the whole reason my parents didn't want me to be alone with a boy you know you get what I'm saying here I didn't want to do stuff with him he wanted to do stuff with girls I wasn't down but he liked me so he was just gonna like do that stuff with other girls but then like also kind of keep me around I guess that's what was going on but I wasn't I don't know so he was like yeah so she couldn't come over so I didn't cheat and I was like oh yeah it's fine no 
It's not fine. The only reason it didn't happen is because she couldn't come over. Then he goes on to explain that there was another girl, but she said she didn't want to come over because she liked me. First of all, shout out to that girl. Girl on girl power. Let's go. Like, girl on girl love. I love you for that. Honestly, don't even remember who it was, but shout out. And you know what I did? I called him and I forgave him. So we had this big long call and he like told me all the basic things like you make me a better person you make me want to strive harder to be who i am like you make me so comfortable you make me so happy i don't know why i did that blah 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 typical guy who probably cheated on you would say and i was like you know what it's fine like i'm literally not even worried about it just don't do it again and i mean he didn't do it again as far as i know but who knows at this point so we kept talking and things were like kind of weird I didn't really know what was happening. It was like we stopped hanging out as much and he was always getting frustrated because he was like, hey, like, come over, like, we can just hang out in my basement and my dad would be like, I don't want you to go over there if his parents aren't home. I don't want you to go out with him if it's just you two because obviously my dad didn't want to put me in a situation I didn't want to be in. Shout out dad. I was just super oblivious to everything that was happening. I would tell Parker, hey, like, I can't just be alone with you, but like, you can just come over and my whole family's home, let's just hang. And he would always be down. Like, he never complained about it. He was just like, okay. And although he asked me to go do stuff with him all the time and I couldn't, he never seemed like super frustrated about it. So I'm pretty sure the last time we hung out, I went to a someone's 16th birthday party. It was at this like, venue place it was really fun there was like photo booth and like all this really fun stuff and it was a really good time we were good we were like holding hands cuddling all the good stuff you know but then randomly he just like texted me and was like hey um i don't think this is working out and i was like um what and so then we called and my family was having this like i was at my mom's we were having this like party all my siblings were in town and he was like yo like sorry we have i don't know why i said yo i never say that he was just like sorry we haven't hung out i thought you're super busy because all your siblings are in town and i was like no like i can i'm allowed to hang out with friends and you probably saw on my snapchat i was hanging out with friends i was going out with friends just because my family was in town didn't like i can balance having friends and family i was like no i can definitely still hang and he was like well i just don't think it's working out like you can't actually date till you're 16 and you can't be alone with me. I can't take you out to do cute things. We can't just go get ice cream. We can't just go do this or this. He made it sound like super nice and like gentleman like, like, oh, we can't go get ice cream and go ice skating alone. Like how sad. But I think we all know why he really wanted me alone. I'm not doubting that he like was just using me. Like I know he genuinely did have feelings for me and we really did have a connection. We really did like each other. But you know how teenage boys are, they want more than just to like someone, you know, they, they want their body and I wasn't there to give it. And he was like, I know it sucks for you, but your whole life you've been used to like not being able to date someone until you're 16, but my whole life I've been able to like go out with a girl if I liked her, so it's just really hard for me to be put in this position. But I was about to turn 16, like I think I was like two months away from my birthday or something and he didn't want to wait and I was like, look, dude, like we're dating just because there's not a label doesn't mean we're not like together. It doesn't mean we don't like each other, but he was just very persistent on, hey, if we can't be the girlfriend and boyfriend, we can't be together. I was heartbroken. I have never been so heartbroken in my life because this was like the first guy I ever liked, first guy I put so much like time into, first guy I let my family be around so and considering how I was in high school, this was my longest relationship before Dallin. It was just one big oof. I was very heartbroken. I was like crying. I went out to my mom and I was just like, mom, Parker broke up with me. I don't know what to do. Well, luckily enough, my big brothers were in town. And so they went all big brother protective on me. And they were like, you know what? Just block him. Just get him out of your life. We don't like him. He And they kept trying to tell me like, Sid, like put it together. He just wanted to, like he, he just wanted you for your body. He didn't. He may have liked you and all the things he probably told you might have been true but at the end of the day if you weren't gonna give him what he wanted he didn't want to be with you so um he wrote me a letter and because we had bought each other gifts and he wrote me a letter with his gift and left it on my porch and i remember actually pulling into my house and he was leaving my house we literally like past each other and so i like called him like a hundred times i was like yo turn around turn around turn around i'm sorry i missed you i didn't know you were coming over right now like just please come back and so I read his letter and I like went into my room and I was like bawling. Then he finally called me back. He was like, yo, sorry, I didn't see your call. Like I'm on my way back. So he came back over 
and me and him had a talk and he was very persistent we're not getting back together i'm done with this if we can't date i don't want to be with you where i feel like he was just really good at manipulating me and like using my obliviousness to his advantage because one of my brothers was really close with him and then my other brother's like knew him because he hung out a lot so they took him into my theater room and had like a two hour talk and i was just like sitting outside like anxious like shaking didn't know what was happening after he left my brothers sat me down and they were like sid like you just need to get over him you just need to get rid of him whatever you need to do if you need to block him just get rid of him don't hang out with again him again don't hang out with his friends don't go to those parties just stay away because obviously he may have had feelings for you but in the end once again he just wanted you for your body i uh posted a video talking about how i didn't need him blah 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 and like i said i didn't want people to go hate on him but they did anyway and that literally ruined any sort of friendship we possibly had he was getting a lot of hate and i felt so bad about it like so bad because he did not deserve that yeah he may not have treated me the best he may have broken up with me for reasons that weren't logical or whatever but at the end of the day he's still a person he still deserves to have his own personal life and that's why i was kind of scared to make this video because of all that that happened there's two sides to every story this is just my side of the story i felt really bad about that so about six months later we were both like we had blocked each other back and forth and like he had blocked me on snapchat and i had blocked him on instagram and we had blocked each other's numbers but finally in like the summer i think i texted him and i was like hey i feel really bad about some stuff that had happened like do you mind if we catch up like i honestly really miss you like it took me a long time to get over this kid we finally met up and we just went we drove around we got smoothies and we just talked and it seemed like everything was okay i tried to like i'm really like i got really nervous and like awkward so i feel like i didn't say everything that i wanted but we talked it out i told him i was sorry for everything that happened and so i thought we were on good terms come to find out i don't think we were i don't think we are i don't really know we're like obviously i don't really care anymore i'm over him i've i've dallin i've I, I just don't care about high school boys anymore that were back in my life. I've seen him at a few parties, I've seen him at dances, and he doesn't talk to me, he doesn't say hi, he completely ignores me. Basically, he acts like I'm the one who did everything wrong. And although I did make a mistake here and there, he also did. He didn't really apologize to me for anything, so, yeah. Also, I really appreciate it when I am telling these stories if you guys, like, don't hate on anything that I say or like take it out of context or try to put the puzzle together because although I am kind of like spilling tea, it is people's real lives. Like I'm not just a character in a movie. He's not just a character. We're real people who have real lives, real reputations, have real feelings that can get hurt. I'm being very open and honest with you guys. I think it's kind of fun. It's entertaining and I just love being vulnerable with you guys. So let's just once again keep it in this family I feel like a substitute teacher or like a teacher that's like if you guys can't react well we're not gonna do this anymore but that's basically how i'm feeling give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to click the link in the description if you want to check out the pretty vulgar mascara i freaking love it 10 out of 10 would recommend thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this wasn't too confusing and i hit all the good points um honestly if you guys have questions i can be asking i can be replying to them in the comments just let me know i'll see you guys in the next one bye